Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at this middle of a new campaign in Kaiserreich in which we're playing as the American Union State which we've I've already just won this American Civil War it's 1940 May 14th and we are currently led by a guy named Huey Long but uh he's not going to stay for very long as you can tell from the thumbnail the American Legion appointment with the end of the Civil War comes a vacancy that is an ever ever important position of the American Legion's national commander last title holder smelly brother and foolishly side of the syndicalists Whomever taking this position will symbolically represent the veterans of the U.S. military and society, and thus the choices support it. The most common name floated up is George, General George Mosley, th though his anti-Semitism does dissuade some of his uh, from a nomination. Huey Long also believes that his friend and ally Con Fox Conner, who introduced, introduced patent to Huey's cause, should have the position. William Paley has his name also been placed on our desk several times, despite the door being locked. Who shall be appointed? Well, as you can tell, we're probably going to go with this guy. Because, actually, I'm doing this campaign because someone on my Discord server said I, I should do it, and I didn't find... On my channel, me playing as Pelly and Kaiser Reich, which doesn't make any sense, but if you want to read about the new Washington, please go ahead. Rebuilding the country. A long struggle to push through the Federalist and Syndicalist forces America's left. The Union State economically drained. Uh, the hand that unifies the country can either promote deficit spending regime or an austerity or austere program that limits direct intervention in the market. Paraguayan, congratulations. With the end of the conflict, it seems as though we finally have some time and some, some time to breathe. Letters from Paraguayan citizens personally thanking the Kingfish for his fight for freedom against cynicalism. Keep flocking from the South American nation. For that regard, as long as a true hero, peace is its own as reward. But we thank them nonetheless. National Recovery Administration, not paternal autocrat. Uh, currently is not a authoritarian democrat. It's currently not. Well, either one doesn't really matter to me. Oh boy, the business plot exposed. Oh boy. Pelly has come rushing Huey Long, interrupting one of his meetings as he delivers an important message for the Kingfish. It seems that the War Powers Committee has been looking at the American Legion to try and get support to overthrow him. This news first makes him uh, the room fall silent in anger from Long, who ordered the rest of all the traitors to America. The gang, now known as Business Plots, due to appear to trial shortly. Arrest the plotters. Oh boy. I would like a research slot. That'd be very nice. Every man a king. Well, we're not. See how, see how far we get. National political machine sounds like a good thing. Executive acts have been used to create agencies that serve the American people in the past, so long as it did not intrude into state sovereignty in the past. As far as it led to corruption from corporate interests, the president is, however, incorruptible. Turning the tables against monopolies and grafters is his promise to America. A special session of Congress. A rapid-fire session of Congress under Huey Long has been able to pass several enabling acts thus far. Exhausted by the dictating, <clears throat> President Long's orders allowed with the Prohibition Party and his old Democrats have come today to deliver more radical pros. A proposal for the constituents. Pork barreling together a bill for veteran back pay, a proposal for the Prohibition Amendment. Prohibition is popular with conservative Protestants in the South, but it seems tyrannical by so-called wet states in the North and West. Unfortunately, big time politics of the AFP mean these bills can only pass together or all not. Final decision, Rask Huey Long. Uh, pass the bills. I kind of don't like that, but uh, you know what? If uh, the Southern Protestants like it, we're gonna pass the bills then. I guess we have better tanks too. Capital of America, with the Civil War over, the question which should the capital be for the new America has been brought up of many states within the country. The four most promising. What city will be chosen? Baton Rouge. When's the last time Baton Rouge was a capital? Oh, wait, New Orleans is not a capital. Baton Rouge is. St. Louis. Um. I want to do Baton Rouge. Brew medium tanks. Are we going to need some tanks in this campaign? We might. Get some better armor. Uh, medium cannons. It's fine. Radio, I like that type of radio. Secondary turrets. Nah. Special modules. Wet ammo storage. Um, I don't really not invested in this very much, so armor's gonna be very expensive, but whatever. More machine guns, well. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Do more breakthrough. Trunchroom bar, I want more speed. There you go. Um, anything here is for more reliability? Well, guys, yeah, this does give 15%. Enough. Share of Wealth appoints Smith. An impromptu meeting has been held among the board members of the Share of Wealth program. The organization's shareholders consist of members of the AFP, the Prohibition Bar, and the Southern Tenant Farmers Union. These board members met at 2 a.m., straddling the line between official business and sec secrecy. William Upshaw of the Prohibition Party brought, this brought to the fore President Long's apparent portrayal of his party values. The AFP board members agreed that Long's rejection of the main uh, campaign promised bodes ill for more similarly centered legislation in the future. Francis Townsend, who joined Huey Long in order to push his old, age old revolving pension plan, agreed it was necessary to elect a new representative for a share wealth program, someone who wouldn't be beholden to the whims, president's whims. After much debate, it's decided that the new elected Louisiana Congressman Gerald L.K. Smith is far enough removed from Long, so he had dedicated to Social Security. As about to retaliate Smith's favor, the board pondered what Smith's association with the civil religion might mean in the future. How dare they? But also, I just realized that we cannot have that whole uh, veterans affairs things, veterans like bills passed. You can do not want to pass that if you want to get the legion of a silverish kind. So, Dick's to declare AFP corrupt. After the end of hostilities in Washington, 
A large section of the conservative Democratic Party pledged their allegiance to the American Union state and the ideals President Long follows. Implicitly, these Democrats help Long fulfill their desires for more state power in exchange for allowing Long's economic reforms to pass easily. This unwritten promise was broken when Long denied them the ability to enforce prohibitions, going so far as to ignore their impassioned speeches in favor of repealing the Interstate Commerce Act. Many conservative Democrats now see the AFP's regime as merely sham democracy that rejects any measure the Long political machine will not personally benefit from. The President was still shocked, however, when the bill halls of Congress were only three fourths. Three quarters full this week. Currently, the legislation is frozen. It appears that the so called Dixocrats are taking all the vacation days at once. Fools, we are their only home. Kind of like this one, corporate alliance. But National Recovery Administration, the NRA, emphasized the use of public domain and work living units instead of cutthroat competition and regular contract work. Workers in the NRA will receive the benefit of minimum wages and price controlled work environments in constant to the old company store model. I really want to do this up, and we definitely need to root out the traders, but still. Following the trail, of uh, convicted traders, the president's found a group of congressmen that were in contact with business executives planning against us. Although they were now behind bars, some have eluded capture through political avenues. We are investigating whether the capture of Richard Butler and the sound will lead us to any more traders. Oh, would you look at this? After a particularly fiery night of speeches at the Silver Legion's new capital city outpost, William Dudley Pelley has rallied his legion in favor of murder. Among his conspirators are now the close confidants of President Long, who has deserted Long after he voted to a prohibition of the Veterans Bill. These traders provided the crucial passes to get any mi mi Minutemen security. Uh, allowing the Silver Legion to execute their coup. A cadre of Silver Legion assassins swooped into the presidential mansion and seized Huey Long. After a brief mock trial where he was found guilty of tyranny attempting to infiltrate cynicalism to America, Huey Long is shot that very night. William Dudley Pelley has announced uh, to a cautious and guarded crowd that he will guide the country, making sure that cynicalism is rooted out of the country. The Silver Legion has already begun occupying Congress to heckle traitors. My eyes have seen the glory. Oh my goodness, yes they have. So I think the National Recovery Administration will probably be better than military industrial complex. That, that makes more sense to me. Ah, oh, William. William, 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 William. If you want to. Uh, it took many Americans by surprise to hear Huey Long's confession of being a cynicalist broadcast that night. The initial backlash could have been a bit the brief revolution had the Silver Legion faltered, thankfully. The American Legion and the Prohibition Party deserted long after the betrayal of his promises. It's the beginning of a new America. I want to rush to get this one because only having four research thoughts sucks. Jim Crow's America? I love it. Ooh, Silver Legion's not bad. Christian Commonwealth, though. Ooh, more political power. That's not bad, too. Ooh, that's better. That's not bad, too. Segregation forever. Oh, there goes those guys. Criminalized syndicalism. That's not bad. That's not very much. Can it intervene? Crack down on the traitors? I'd like to do that, but I do want to rush down there. Ooh. Public Works Administration. The ability to generate electricity, transfer water, ensure safe and efficient travel was lost in the Civil War. But the Public Works Administration will fix all that. It was. Uh, the fund that will ensure contractors pay their employees fairly. Despite our best efforts to incentivize the officers to remain in their positions during that very sensitive time, approximately 100 army officers expressed deep reservations for Huey Long's trial. The right president has reported these dissenting opinions, and thus have also given us warning of the officers' coming protests in the Capitol in five days' time. We have no illusions that these marches will be peaceful, or that their march won't culminate in a demand for the Silver Legion to return power to the AFP, General Patton, still leading the Fifth Army. This promise he'll protect our right to rule uh, the Commonwealth. Given a free reign against the marchers, however, will be a bloody battle that could easily backfire on us. Richard Butler suggested instead of having Legion supporters infiltrate the right march ranks and disrupt them from within, better make the officers look unreasonable and foolish than to make the governments appear tyrannical. National Education Administration. On the wake of the collapse of CSA, the National Education Association has folded its members dispersed. With most teachers being apolitical and the union never being able to exert much partisan power over them, it makes a very strong candidate for rehabilitation by the new American government. Silver Legion. Silver Legion is currently the unofficial head of the American Legion, with propaganda delivered slowly through the agents. This has led to pockets of dissent in some American Legion outposts. We must identify these dissidents and redistribute them to far flung outposts in order to minimize their potential. The Washington March. The march on Washington happened just as we predicted. And while Butler's plan to have Legion members among the marchers was well ahead his plan, the chaos it created was not nearly as effective as anyone hoped. While the plans managed to stop the march from getting any momentum, preventing any, any attempt at a coup, it didn't stop a number of prominent officers from getting on stage and making impassioned speeches against the undemocratic tribe of Huey Long and the undermining of American democracy. Some newspapers mocked the chaos, but many others picked up on it and spread the speeches, and the officers' words have reached the ears of many in the public who feel the same. At least, it didn't go anywhere. Oh, look at that flag. Beautiful flag. Protect the Dominion of Canada. Any neighbor country in the home area, huh? I do want this one. But Fourth of July, going to read about this, please go ahead. Yay! Uh... Rule of the clan. Ooh, that hurts us quite a bit. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, they will cooperate, huh? Interesting. It is, of course, 1940, which sucks, honestly. Because it took so freaking long to get a lot of this stuff done. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. It was so bad trying to do the Civil War. Civil War, is, it's its very hard to do still now. And, uh, oh god, freaking dang it. Save that for now. We're not going to make that yet, though. Um, but at the same time, um, yeah, it was not a lot of fun. 
CSA is still very, 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 way too strong. Oh. There you go. We're going to war with Puerto Rico, which is fine with us. We will launch a naval invasion as well. Um, oh, anti aircraft guns, that's fine. And our economy's not looking great, but what else is new? Civil works. Public works. National education, civil religion, absorb the clam. Hiram Wesley Evans has been officially inducted into the Civil Legion as the mass clan gathered in the capital today. As work here is waiting in the Triple K and be sent to reel in the clan there. We'll also require the clan's men to only be concealing their faces in order to use the influence of members to the fullest extent. Hopefully we can invade fine and have no issues because we need a Puerto Rico back. Even though America's not looking great in some of these places, we have a lot of resistance and whatnot. Another trip down there too. We have a lot of compliance. All the South is under our control. You have a good portion of the, the West, Midwest. We're going to the Constitution. Next, scratch we tipped off about the rest of people long have been useful in maintaining the facade that is Congress. The tedious process of replacing state representatives with legionnaires has meant that we have become more and more aligned on the Dixie Crash remaining content in the meantime. I had reason pushed by Chief Pellet to pass amendments 22 to 24, bringing the new grandfather clause, depriving people of rights not enjoyed by the grandfather, and requiring a profession of faith in order to serve in the Congress. The agenda has turned to Pellet's final amendment, reserving private and government land for redistribution to Christians. Spawned a surprising backlash, though. Dixie Crash claimed this eminent domain impedes the right of states to their own land, something he would long promise he wouldn't do. Chief Pellet is known to bind if he gives in to the Dixie Crash to make him look weak at the very time he needs to look like he's all the answers. If strong arms amendment, as many of his advisors suggest, it'll dispel illusion to democracy, so we really need to maintain. The civil religion's grip on America's hearts and minds increases. Have you read Matthew? They can have the rights for now. Our grip on the American hearts and minds increases. Oh, okay, I like that idea. We have no political power, which is god awful, and we have no balanced power too. Oh, oh, we're at war now too. No, I hope we can invade and do okay, but you never know. Don't have any Marines with us right now, but that's okay. Oh, it went down. That's not good. And we'll take a look see here once we get there. And can we invade and do okay there? Maybe, maybe not. Oh boy. Well, you're going to do that. And you know what? You're going to do that too. You should be able to win here, and then we should be able to punch our way through here too. Big red one, huh? Big red one ain't going to survive. 1940 Tokyo Olympics, huh? There you go. That'll be good. Thank you, sir. No Navy, huh? Well, can they not afford one? And NAACP declares the government illegitimate. On the wake of the devastating civil war, the future of African American rights so fought long for is again threatened. And no show assurances, assurances by civil protection by Huey Long, it's kept many from the streets of the socialist and federalist royal. They even planned meetings in New York City for Huey Long to directly address civil rights concerns before that fateful day. You now, with Huey Long gone, all illusions are of safety or dead. Walter Francis White, along with several other high-ranking members of the NAACP, have declared the new America illegitimate. Many of them are now prepared to emigrate to Canada and other countries, as Marcus Garvey did, and so many others did during slavery. Bye! There he goes, go to old Finland. Look like they're struggling all over there. We're gonna need more manpower, too. Yeah. Effective total manpower modified to 45%, Jesus Christ. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Revive nativism. I do want more political power though, because we will need that. Common wealth for citizens, that'd be good too. Christian identity, Christian orc ethic. Um let's grab that at least first. Begin reconstruction, factory repairs better. Civilian stuff, punish for corrupt and treacherous reconciliation. Silver Legion rides in Baltimore. Uh, Resident against a Silver Legion outpost in Baltimore has been building for the past several weeks after a poorly written passion play performed by to entice membership was mocked in the city's newspapers. Legion members began to feel isolated from the community and began traveling in armed groups. Tensions rose as the breaking point came when the Baltimore police came upon a Legionnaire to lynching and attacked the Legionnaires. A full blown riot on the streets has resulted in an attack, uh, and the entire situation has been subsequently mishandled by the Maryland National Guard, who appeared to not only which side to take. If we intervene to take the Legionnaires out of the fighting, our favoritism will be obviously the Ocasus. If we leave them in the rights, however, it not only threatens to turn into a national scandal, but also might call into question our loyalty to the Silver Legion. Still, some are suggesting that the true of our own could save face with the public by providing us with an appearance of neutrality. Ban the Legionnaires to their fate. Uh, pull them out no matter the cost. We can use more political power. We lose a little bit of stability. We already have no stability. We lose a lot of manpower, though, but. More national populism would be nice. Pull them out. 
when in doubt, I uh, might. I probably don't pull out. I'll be honest. No, let's just be just be honest. Yeah, I, I don't pull out. Anyways, um, yeah, we did a lot of stuff during the Civil War because my guy took so long. Back on the world stage, another position as the world power has been restored to us. It's time to figure out where we fit in the whole scheme of things. So every legion absorbed the clan, cracked down on the attack on the traitors. A group of stubborn clansmen that refused to reveal their names have come to Pelly seeking exception. Our chief Pelly made an aligned decision to this issue and sent the clansmen to a secret service. The portion of the clan still undercover will be able to seek out and eliminate those with the reservations still against us and march into Zion. The rats in Baltimore are petered out. Those peers now without making things uncomfortable for the administration. Oh crap. While dealing with the rioters, the Silver Legion headquarters in Baltimore's breaches of important documents were still being disposed of. Papers were seized and somehow found their way into the hands of newspapers, who published uh, the darning evidence of plans to restrict or outright remove the rights of African Americans. Public outrage spread properly, but thankfully enough work had already been done in your loyalty in and outside of the administration for weeks. Now were issued, certain vacations made, several scapegoats offered until finally the worst had passed. The political backlash has still damaged people's faith in the Commonwealth, but the Legion's Silver Legions has placed enough loyalists within positions of power that were now secure. They cannot dislodge us. Sorrows of the mind banished from the place. Claire Hoffman causes a polio outbreak. outbreak. It, of course, began in the meeting halls of the Silver Legion. The idea that the vaccines were a cynical spot to poison America, this. Coupled with the belief that America's public waters had been poisoned by fluoride, has propelled many new politicians into office. None higher than that of the former congressman, Claire Hoffman, who was gaining a following within the Le Legion. As they even led to the AFP ending, Dr. Morris Brody's promising polio vaccine research. Now, this summer, uh, he has brought with it the largest polio outbreak in American history. Although Claire is now out of office and the American Public Health Association has been rehabilitated, damage still done, many Americans are now permanently crippled. Well, oh, shnikes. Polio's got to be stamped out, y'all. Come on. We're not looking so good right now. That's a lot of uh, not goodness. All I can say is Schneikies. Wow. Wow. Segregation forever. Oh man. Jim Crow America. Church and state. Not bad. I need more political power though. America's born again. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get through all this stuff. I might just go here. Because that's not, that's not like almost no political power. But still, we need political power and stability really badly. Very badly. Rural electrification is nice and all, but that. Hmm. No more war sport. Criminalize cynicalism. I might do that too, just because we need political power too. Features of cynicalism and longinism has been decided. Labor, education, and internment camps are authorized by the Shell Congress. The House suspects of cynicalism indefinitely until the national emergency of the Civil War has truly ended. The American Legion has already begun to clear meeting houses and city councils of traitors. Fate of Murphy Ranch. Now that our Legion reaches from the coast to coast, we must revisit our place to find a report, a resort. Pelly had planned out. In the outskirts of LA, this compound was built a ranch to sustain the Silver Legion in case of a cynicalist victory. Murphy Ranch, as it is called, is now the ability to become fully operational. Should continue to fortify this homestead to protect new Californian brothers, or should we convert the land into a place for a free, reborn American industry? Fortify it? Uh, let's convert it. Even though we could really honestly use more millies, I just want to keep increasing the military strength that we have right now. Even though we don't, we're not really good right there. We're built in Puerto Rico. We need more compliance. Integration. Our influence is in the Legation City. It's rebuilding America. I would like New England, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, we might need spend political power to do this too. Suppress resistance to get more compliance. Less resistance target. Set garrison strength plus 1%. Even though it does cost us quite a bit. Even though we're still doing the Silver Legion, of course. Um, and it's going to be going just a wee bit slow. At least for me, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Criminal sin closing. That'd be nice too. Because this will directly affect. Alright, how much political power do you get? Right? Is that this much? Silver Legion minus 1%. Uh, Pelly. Ooh. Party popularity. It does affect us, so. That would help us out getting more stuff here, but we definitely need to do this one. Crack down on traitors to fight them, and then keep going this way too. And Christian Commonwealth would be nice as well. Jim Craw, huh? To get more stability here too would be nice. The way of life in the South is in the, that the Northern Pelly found that of segregation and state laws that prevented blacks from exercising civil rights struck Pelly as the true soul of America, finally. With total control of the world to gay by acting, Pelly's began to suggest Northern states pass Jim Crow laws of their own. It's their great migration. Those thousands of African Americans who left America before the Civil War, like being joined by hundreds of thousands more fleeing Pelly's terror, groups like the International Labor Defense and the Devil and its ACP, are now working together with the Red Cross to evacuate masses of people struggling to remain free. To the Silver Legion and their leaders, this plays into a long standing fear of a united front against a rule. At the same time, the fear of the dissidents eternally. The safe for loyal legionnaires can sleep. The question is, what shall we do? Should we let them leave or shall we keep them here? Stop them. Why would we stop them? They don't want to be here. It's okay, you know. Great migration loses a lot of the population for half a year. Lose a lot of manpower, which we don't have, so we should probably just go ahead and invest in that manpower if we possibly can. Um, and then get more stability? What's not the laws? So really just begin issuing a passbook to African Americans throughout the Commonwealth in anticipation of the pass laws that can affect next year. Laws similar to the old internal passport used during the time of the Confederacy to identify free men and slaves. So religion strongly discourages any comparisons to pass laws and defend their clans with violence. 
resulted in numerous African Americans being forbidden to travel from outside the South with plans to extend zo zoning into the rest of the Commonwealth. Papers, please. The Great Lie. The official record in America has always been biased in favor of the ruling party. Once in office, Thomas Jefferson slandered the memory of the great patriot John Adams and fooled subsequent generations into believing his love for nativism was tyranny. Now we must arrest the great lie perpetrated by the presidential candidate and governor of Ohio, Warren G. Harding, to hide his black ancestry. With the papers approved beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, that Harding's father was a black man and therefore comes in a worldwide conspiracy against the Commonwealth. Take that, Harding. And we're running out of manpower, which is not good. But I did use a little political power to start lowering the resistance here, so that'll be good. And we can get... Illinois on board, because with 8.44 million people, that'd be really good. Jim Jones America, of course. Um, and then we're going to do Crackdown on Traitors. If you're going to do this, please go ahead. Yeah. Once again, it's going to criminalize cynicalism. The future of cynicalism and long has been decided. Labor re education and internment camps are authorized by the show Congress, the House suspected cynicalists indefinitely, until the national emergency of the Civil War is truly ended. American legions already begin to clear meeting houses and city councils of traitors for slavery. Um, even though paternal autocrats, yeah, we could really destroy those guys. That'd be good to do. The loss of 100,000 people from the labor market is going to anger what used to be loyal legionnaires. Debates in the once quiet House of Congress are opting to demand Pelley find a solution to the lack of able bodied workers in America. Pelley's solution force labor for traders at the service of the corporation that is a commonwealth and the covenant sword and arm. Members of the Silver Legion, when the white identity church of Jesus Christ, Christian, have reported that many local financial institutions in the area are controlled by the cynicals and foreigners. Since the legions overstretch, our chief Pelley has authorized the church to appropriate wealth from citizens, whether willing or not. Well, that's good to do, too. Oh, we got both. That's very nice, actually. Keep going for that, too. Um, criminal cynicals and forced labor. Uh, revive nativism. The foundations of America's Pelley and Armstrong see it as are connected not only to the former nation of Britain, but also to Anglo-Saxons of the race. An executive act by Pelley has illegalized interracial marriage, requiring all marriages to occur in Christian identity churches. Unless the religion itself has been deployed to resegregate schools. And segregation forever. I love George, uh, George Wallace. It, our inability to stop protesters from returning each day despite the beatings, and the bulls proved to be an intriguing challenge. The Soviet Legion decided to employ an overwhelming alliance to outshout the dissidents by calling up segregationist organizations in the South and inviting them to the Christian identity. The Soviet Legion representatives have done their best to screen for religious beliefs when recruiting, but new recruits often propagate beliefs that do not fit the Pelly Armstrong line. <clears throat> well, one group out in California called Mankind United claims that America's savior is a local minister. Another insinuated the government was willing to assist Catholic nations in their liberation. The potential threat to our power is limited, but at the same time, this unity breeds contempt. Uh, the civil religion's leadership is devised whether these ideas are dangerous or en uh, enough to stamp out. What should we do about these outrageous claims? The innocent lives rest. Wickedness must be stamped out. We already have minus 93%. What's a little bit more, uh, you know, lack of stability? Well, it's a little bit la less lack. Of course, segregation forever. We just read Christian Commonwealth. Pelley's grand vision of the American Commonwealth is a country free of dead and bonds by turning the entire government into a gigantic corporation. Inalienable rights are given, not promised to native born Americans, in the form of stocks that they pay annual dividends or credits to citizens that vote on the Civil Legion representatives. The Penal Act. The 13th Amendment made slavery illegal throughout the country. However, the amendment allows for involuntary servitude as a punishment for crime. A new order passed by the Shell Congress has increased the sentence for time for more moral crimes and provided the more abuse of indentured labor and industry, thus being named the Penal Act. This penal labor has been given a boost by a recent. Uh. Uh, rev by reviving various black codes that criminalize attempting to vote as an African American, the boisterous speeches Pelly delivers on the radio have tried to obfuscate the full unfolding truth of slavery is back. So now we can fight these terrorists too, which would be good. Um, honestly, doing both. I do want New England too. Uh, let's see, let's do this before we do that. I do want to go down into there too. Um, I do want New England though. If we get those as cores back, that'd be great. Canadian concern. While the New England government is not a Canadian puppet, it would be false to suggest that it wasn't part of the British sphere, as much as it is, and it's a great concern of the larger Canadian sphere of interest. The Canadian government is willing to allow New England to reunite with the Commonwealth of America, but since the reason for Canada's intervention in the region ended with the Civil War, but they're asking the Commonwealth of America to join the Entente Alliance. This would make up for New England's loss and also be a way to pay back the Dominion of Canada for saving American lives. They did not save American lives. No, 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 no. They did not save American lives. If anything, they destroyed American lives and killed many of them off. But reunion with New England. Look at that. Officials from New England delivered the message promptly they will gladly unite with the Commonwealth of America at last. The purpose of their provisional government to avoid the chaos of the Civil War is now over with, and they look forward to America being whole once again. Good. And we got these divisions back. Awesome. I love the heavy holes. A couple more divisions are nice too. Silent second, huh? Template is not bad, it's relatively decent. Mechanized, huh? Interesting. Uh, light infantry, there's only one of y'all. That's not terrible either. This is not so good though.
I'm really happy you do that. Buying another man's propaganda war? Hmm. How about you all get the barnacles out of there? America's reunited, long last America. Has been united under the Commonwealth of America's banner. That traitors and would be triumphs have destroyed, tried to destroy and corrupt this great nation. Yo, know, held firm and took control. The question has risen, however, that these territories that did not initially rise up with Huey Long in the Civil War. Is this a country, the United States of America, or is it truly the Commonwealth of America? As long as long made a return of the stability of the Stars and Stripes, even if things have irrevocably changed. Should we appease them and show that American Huey original vision still exists? Commonwealth of America is America. We need a lot of chromium. Um, we really start playing on the whole planes thing. Uh, I should go there. Where are my planes? There we go. That'd be good. Wow, look at all the political power we have now. Starting the army. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Do that. that, that reclaim Hawaii. Oh crap! Should not do that. Yeah, we can wait to get reclaim Hawaii too. These are just cores now too. So we got way more manpower, way more factories. Guys, available in the seconds dead. Oh boy. I'd like to go here too, but we'll see. 0 0.03, huh? That's not very good. 12 Amsterdam. Well, when you steal my divisions, steal my boys, what'd you get? How would you just come home? Gone, criminal cynicalism. Um, yeah, that'd be good to do. Minus 91%. Weekly change is going up, though, at the very least. Hurts of political power, factory outputs, really bad resistance, striking territories, very bad, too. Even though know, this, the compliance went up just because, and resistance should go down, theory, because this is all core stuff, so if there's a lot of core territory around stuff that's not core. That's always good. So and we have a cup of coffee to keep the nest warm too. 1941, huh? Sure. The Black Belt Act. One of the more controversial acts or acts that Pelley is proposing extending the 1989 Indian Appropriation Act in the African American community. The proposed Black Belt Act would make communities in the South with majority African American populations in a reserved space with independent public services. At least on paper, the Silver Legion claims that these areas will be administered by the African Americans under the regime's jurisdiction, similar to the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Moreover, the act would strip citizenship and any previous commonwealth of African Americans nationwide, but that comes with even more, more little members, members that the whites within the black vote also lose their citizenship and rights. What should we become of this act? Dynamic now, dynamic forever? It's only minus 100%, that's all. Let's get back to Hawaii. If we can. Hey, we're still building up in Colorado. What stupid. Oh my god. Just, just go. Fourth of July, we don't about that, please go ahead. Nice. I, I, this division here, but these guys are just fighting here just because they can. Ah, oh, you stupid ding dongs. Empire Japan intervenes. Honolulu's been given us reply. They declined the reunion offer, but four delegates could ask them to reconsider, lest we use their arms to ensure the reunion goes through. At the threat, Alexander. Uh, Henry Alexander Baldwin proposed the alliance Hawaii has joined the Cobra Spearsphere to support them where they attack. The Lucas were then quickly sent on a flight back to continental America. We're left with two options go to war for Hawaii, backing down. Isn't worth war, we'll come back. We'll have to destroy Japan. Probably the next episode, honestly. I told you to leave! Black Education Act. Okay. These are traitors to America. Die there then. The, uh, but we have a public education. Okay, you don't want to leave either? Goodbye. Uh, ch uh, changes implemented by Pelley in order to solidify Christian identity into the youth of America is nearly complete. This final act, which passed with unanimous approval by the Shell of Congress, is the Black Education Act. The Black Education Act totally redefines education practice for ethnic minority communities, in particular African Americans. Notably, focuses the education of African Americans for the role as laborers and distances them from older nations of religious unity across races. As part of the speech announced the law, Pelley stated, There's no place for the Negro and Anglo Saxon community by the level of labor. What use is the teaching of the Negro child mathematics when it cannot use it in practice? Education that suits them. Look at that political power. Let's get Illinois under our feet. I want Illinois and New York City. Both fully like solidified under us. 
And oh, what's we got here, huh? Something I never choose would be speed. But it's, no, it's patent. Oh, but he's speed. He's speed. Um let's go with Clark. Force labor. Don't look at the stability. White Citizens Council. Legacy of civil disobedience is strictly 1930s to stay with the members of the White Christian Council. The White Christian Council, uh, Citizens Council, I should say, has taken up the torch to intimidate voters and discourage citizen stockholder meetings from pushing for integration. Pellet subtly increased the common share of the White Citizens Council in response. Christian Commonwealth, Commonwealth for non citizens. The first order to determine was the truest natural citizen deserving stock in the Commonwealth. They must be able to trace their ancestry to the original voters at the time of the American Revolution or have sworn a new oath to the religion, which is prepared to dedicate, dedicate their lives and then dynasty to the Christian identity forever. Can you see the real Peli? Although only known to the highest ranking members of the Silver Legion, there's a hidden depth in the mind of our chief Peli. To his close friends, he's, he's more than a leader and a friend. He's a political, religious, and moral god up until now, and a sort of secret doctrine has been hidden from the public at large due to their unwillingness to accept that religious and temporal authority are one and the same. Now, their enlightened leader is well accepted in this brave numeric society, should go public with some of his more esoteric ideas. Pelly's Sanders, as it is, can barely keep up from exposing the deeper thoughts to the public at large. Is Mr. Pelly enough for the history books? The world is ready. Too many would fear this? Let's see what happens. We're going to probably go crash and burn, but whatever. We're actually losing political power every day because we're suppressing resistance in Illinois and New York City. Oh boy. And stability is so bad. Oh my god, it's so bad. Adaption, I want helmet if you remember that, please go ahead. Glad we finally got rid of the Brodies. Nice. Building America, I'd like to do that, but we need cores. So all across us here, great nation. Florida. No, I would like to go to war with Cuba too. Are they in the Reich's Pact? Yeah. Honestly, I need that chromium. If we go to war with these guys, I'm not going to take offense to that because I don't think they're going to win. And they might still win, maybe. But they're busy on literally every single front. So. That'll be good. Better recruit group of population factor, better stability, war support factory output, less growth speed, better compliance growth speed. That's going to take a while to get rid of all this stuff, but you know. Now the Civil War's order must rule, deal with the various rebels that are challenging the, our rule of America and refuse to lay down their arms. So. It's not bad. So that's better than it was earlier. It's not much better, but it's still better. 58% compliance is not bad, though. Oh. Ah, these were their ships, huh? A lot of screens, and they're not very good screens either. Subs, and they're not very good subs either. So try to get more compliance, growth. And yeah, what percentage do you need to have enough compliance? And less resistance, that's my question. Let's just keep attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking, and I don't think it's really helping them out. Christian education, we can get him back to that later. Christian identity. What began as an offshoot of Anglo Irelianism in Canada has grown into a concrete political and social doctrine under the Pele Armstrong line. Christian identity envisions the union of German Assyrians, Afro Americans, socialist Jewish people, and Catholics that are all in a confederation against them. Now the public should understand. And everyone, danger. we've just gone to war with Cuba. Hopefully we can invade them. Do okay. The Austrian Empire has been called in. You know what? So be it. I mean, the, the Reich's Pact is really not doing well at all right now. They. Poland. Did a little sneaky and combined, went to sides with the Russians and then are defeated, but we'll see. Um, so did Romania, so it really screwed over the Rex Pact. So, we'll see. Um, I like that a lot. Not bad, too. These guys are cut off from supplies now, which is nice, too. And go on in. Uh, have you guys start marching down this way. Have you guys start marching down this way, too. Follow Vanna? Nice. Uh, do that. And then just go on ahead. Throw the Cubans here. Denmark is gone. I'll figure out who else is in the Reichs back. Like Brazil. We can get Brazil too. That'd be great for a big old boon rubber supply. Where are you going? Ah, oh, there's. No. Why did Russia take this? What? What? Me no understand. Alright, so R Moscow should not have taken that, but whatever. Reichs Pact. Oh, they're finding these guys down here too. Um, yeah, and honestly, that's all the Entente up there. If we invade the Reichs back down here, that'd be great. So in the meantime, let's do that too. Take one port down there, that'd be awesome. 
I don't know if we can. But we will attempt it. If not, we're all kind of screwed. Either way, then. Well, Christian identity is nice to have. Christian work ethic, Christian service brigade, come with citizens first. Zero heroism, war propaganda. Wow, plus 5%. Jesus, that's, that's strong. These two, and we'll continue to do these again. <coughs> Christian education, church and state, Christian work ethic. With the advent of the common wealth, there begins a split in work ethic across the nation of the Silver Legion Dunan 10. Blue laws that used to allow Christian time off work to go to church are being revoked by those who do not value the morals of the nation. We must bring blue, blue laws back. Church and state, there are implicit religious values within America that only the Silver Legion can see. It's absolutely the Silver Legion that Pele Armstrong learned that America was meant to be ruled by only the pious Protestant Christians. Therefore, Chief Pele has recognized Christianity as the official religion of the United, United States of America, or the American Commonwealth. America is born again. Many doubted the ability for the Silver Legion to succeed Huey Long, but those that took the risk are now enjoying the fruits of America's credit system and renewed faith. Huey Long's look sees out of blindness, uh, and deception gave way to Pele's truth. What remains to be seen is what the foreign conspirators will do next, of course. Bro, that is such crap. Russia, get the crap out of here, man. Ready to go. Give us three more days. We have not lost that many. Less than a thousand guys. Cuba, we destroyed. 21,000, that's not bad. Go ahead and try it. So that if I control, would be nice to do as well. Um, we'll see. If we can't take them, we can't take them. But, you know, we'll see. French Republic, Paraguay. Yeah, these guys are definitely going to die here. Oh, boy. Thirty percent resistance. Come on, can we land? Can we land? Can we land? Can we land? Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Building a ship, huh? Oh boy! Oh boy! We should be able to blam. Is that how pronounced blam? We did all this. That works administration. As a nation, America lost a great deal of its labor supply to fight in the poverty of the disorganized federalists. Leaders pushed an executive order authorized the creation of agency, employed manual labor to develop the space and employment for NRA projects. Great, we're in. Oh, but I want to send too many guys down here. Uh, go. Get down and get out. Start spreading like a cancer. I want Brazil. There's enough of a hole that we can just push out wherever we want to go, so. Commonwealth for citizens. Work ethic, yes. Look at all the infrastructure we built. Beautiful, I know. Oh, we need some rubber. Is what, which is, oh, another reason why I want Brazil. Brazil and Cuba. Are you... What the... No. I hate the AI sometimes. It's just like, oh, what are we doing? Do we need to keep a port? Ding dongs. Come on. There you go. Don't lose the towel, my god. <laughs> Your speed, that'd be good. So if I control... Para, would be nice to have this ball. Because we will definitely need more supplies for here. It's going to be god awful fighting through here. <sighs> Is anyone going to attest to it? It's really bad fighting down here. Get these guys moving a little bit more. Get them more supplies. Even though they are like 43 combos, which is really probably a bad idea. Whatever. That's a case. Logistics. Let them go out already. They all do fine. That'll be fine with us. Christian work ethic. Christian uh, service brigade. What began as a volunteer organization for young boys in the Civil War has now become a nationally funded organization, the Christian Service Brigade. Founder Joseph Coughlin was attracted to the Pelly Armstrong line. Subsequent years later, have seen the group take in the war orphans and give them a father figure in the Silver Legion. 
But everyone needs a father figure. Christian education. Harvard Divinity School should have been the gold standard for education since its inception. The education of Christians is essential to the civil religion's long life, and to do that, we must fund uh, should fund divinity schools across the nation in the Harvard model. Introspection of the secrets of Christianity stops in Klesad. Christian state. First, though. Because we gotta get through all the way through here first, too. Um, I hate fighting Brazil so much. Brazil, fix your god dang infrastructure. Fix it. Yeah, they're still holding on. But for how long, really? Wow, they're just eating up Denmark and North, North Germany. They go, um, nom, 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 nom. They didn't need stability anyways. Or political power. Oh, good God. I still went back up. Come on. Um, let's get military police. Why not? Because we have these guys doing this. Get some military police on these fine folks. Oh, we need guns. We need a lot of guns. Ooh, better artillery, yes, please. Already, 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 hardy, already. That's nice too. Oh, you have to take that. Keep him in place for now. And then you guys can come down this way. There you go. Just keep going for the coast for more supplies and whatnot. As long as we get a good chunk of Brazil. And Cuba, that's what I really care about. Remove social influence. God, I hate social influence. Good. We got like more political power. This gives more population, better consumer goods, better stability, which is really bad right now, anyways, because we're at war, but whatever. I think for this campaign, we want to at least destroy Japan because they did not give us Hawaii back. So it is 42. Probably need better armor and whatnot. So we got to think about our navy as well from here on out. Um, obviously, we're not making any more divisions, which we don't need if we're going to take out Japan. Uh, more guns, though. Tricking state. America's born again. Better consumer goods. Better stability. That's what we all want. We've got these two red. Uh, Civil Works Administration. We read that one too. Civilian Conservation Board, 4th of July. Yay! Agricultural adjustment. Electronics begin reconstruction. Civil wars blast our country to pieces. Large parts of the rural country do not but mud and ashes, while countless cities have been reduced to smoldering rubble. We're we'll set to work developing new housing and infrastructure as soon as possible. We're not going to do reconciliation. We'll do punish corrupt and treacherous. Congress out of this and condemning these companies that betray the American people. There's a majority of shareholders and traders, companies and seats, and executive officers of companies that have exploited workers beyond the facade of government now in trial. Reconstruction is over. It would be nice to do it eventually as well. Say for Puerto Rico. Well, Alaska and Hawaii both being considered as potential new states of the Union. Representatives of both propose uh, uh, that they should also become a state of the Commonwealth of America. Should they become the state of the Union? Become the 51st state? Shall they remain territory? Get a core. State for Alaska? Wait, wait, why do we get Puerto Rico before this one? Whatever. Um, Alaska's proposed to the Congress being admitted to the Commonwealth of America as a state. Should they be allowed as a state with all the entails that should remain territory? The god dang state. What are you talking about? Okay, do both those. That's a huge boon to us. And still doing that too good. A lot of resistance I know, but whatever. I frankly don't care. Don't give him any place to move, and we got all that stuff done. Nice, awesome. 100 days left, huh? That's gonna bought us out so much, though. Oh, popping off some divisions. Can't come down here too. Find anything they got, destroy and kill them off. That's what I say. We'll work with whatever cynicals we have to for now. Do not lose a single division though. That is against orders. Completely against orders to lose any division. America's born. Nice. How much more until Brazil's dead? German Empire's only halfway there. It's gonna take us some time. America's born again. But overall, not bad. I think for the first episode, there's a lot of reading and stuff, but that's pretty normal. And I 
still surprised I've not actually played this yet, but I think I'm in the episode there, and we'll keep pushing on forward as we try to build up our navy and watch cynicalism go kaboom. I might actually steal a piece of European territory just so that we have a foothold here, so if we want to strike the reds or whatever, we could probably do that too, so. If you enjoyed the video, though, or enjoy, just enjoy Peli, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow. I'll see you what else we can do with the Silver Legion. Thanks for watching, have a great, great Peli rest of your day.